Good morning South Africa. We've got all the latest news stories and headlines in South Africa you really need to know on Thursday 30th of December, 2021. Now let's take a good look at the top 5 stories that have made headlines for today. Transformer explodes at Eskom's Camden Power Station. A transformer exploded at Eskom's Camden Power Station near Ermelo in Pumalanga on Wednesday morning due to a fault, the utility has announced. The explosion occurred at Unit 8 of the station. This station produces 190 megawatts in electricity. Eskom, however, said in a statement that it does not anticipate any disruption to the power supply. The fire was contained, no injuries were reported. An investigation into the incident has been launched to determine the cause and the extent of the damage and the possible return to service is underway, it said. This comes after energy analyst Chris Yellen tweeted he had received a report from a reliable source of a transformer explosion at the Camden Power Station in Pumalanga. This Western Cape municipality may run out of water by tomorrow. Residents of George in the Western Cape face a nervy 48 hours or so after several burst pipes in the region have left many locals without access to running water. The crisis is believed to be linked to flash floods experienced here just over five weeks ago. Those recent torrents of rain have left the local water infrastructure on its knees. Three separate pipelines all buckled under pressure on Tuesday, prompting an emergency response from Georgia's municipal officials. The water supply from the local dam is being throttled, and everyone currently in George has been instructed to use water sparingly over the next two to three days. According to a recent statement, a large portion of the town is set to feel the squeeze. Desmond Tutu, the arch to lie in state on Thursday and Friday. The late Archbishop Desmond Tutu will now lie in state on both Thursday and Friday. Tutu's family had initially announced that this would happen on Friday, but the Archbishop Tutu IP Trust and Desmond and Lear Tutu Legacy Foundation now say this has been extended to accommodate mourners. This will be at the St. George's Cathedral in Cape Town. His body will be cremated after the funeral and his ashes then placed in the cathedral. Tutu passed away at the age of 90 on Sunday, December 26, 2021. His passing has sparked a wave of condolences from all corners of the world, with many hailing him for his contribution towards ending apartheid. Gauteng motorist escapes hijacking ordeal by driving over his attacker. This is perhaps the very definition of rough justice. A hijacking suspect was left in a heap by the roadside on Wednesday, after his would-be victim decided to turn the tables and fight back against a group of criminals. According to Road Safety Agency Arrive Alive, the incident took place in Randburg, Gauteng. Several suspects are thought to have been involved in the attempted hijacking, but a struggle ensued and the driver's course of evasive action paid dividends. The target pulled away from danger, at any cost necessary. In trying to escape the situation, the person behind the wheel mowed down one of the attackers. Proving that there's no honor amongst thieves, the rest of the gang fled the scene without their buddy. Man killed in mob justice attack after he killed six-year-old in fire. In a brutal turn of events, a man who had set alight his girlfriend's house with her six-year-old son inside was caught and burned to death by angry community members. The little boy was burned beyond recognition. According to Reaction Unit SA, Rusa, spokesperson Prem Balram the drama allegedly started on Christmas in Trainans Park in KwaZulu-Natal. Residents said the man had an altercation with his girlfriend on Christmas afternoon before he stormed out of the wood and iron dwelling. His girlfriend opted to spend the night at a neighbor's house while her son attended a Christmas function with her sister. The woman was unaware that the child returned and was in the house alone when her boyfriend returned later the same evening and set their home on fire. He then fled the scene, Balram said. He said on Sunday morning, members of the community went in search of the man. This is Leah for the South African.